Oh, Sydney's come tomorrow. Massive game. You could be in the chance of going to the top of the league. How important is this one to the season? Yeah, all the games are very important, but um, you know this one is a very important one for us because, you know, as I said, uh, you know Sydney are the last year's champions. They're the sort of yardstick of the competition. So, um, and you want to play against the best teams as a player. And you know the playing group is really looking forward to taking on Sydney tomorrow night. Is this sort of a chance as well to make a statement? You mentioned that they're the best team in the league that have been the last three or four years. The chance to make a statement that you are championship contenders? Yeah, most definitely. I think it's um, important that the playing group have, you know, put in some excellent performances over the last two months. And you know, and you know, tomorrow night has to be no different. We have to put in a great performance. You know, we have to work hard, and you know and come away with the three points. That's what we're, we're here for now. You know, we, we want to go the rest of the season undefeated and, you know, it's a good test for us tomorrow night. We've had a lot of games in quick succession. Uh, is it going to be a sort of a similar team? You're going to have to rotate and they may have one change of team? Yeah, look, now I, I think we've got a, you know, the, the playing group now are getting uh, their fitness level to where it needs to be. Um, and we're getting a lot of players coming back from their injuries. So there's a lot of depth in the squad and we've got a lot of players that we can select from now. So it's um, really looking good for us going forward. No new uh, fresh injury concerns? Anymore? No, no, everyone's good. As I said, um, we're, we're getting some players back now from the injuries that they've had. So, um, so it's uh, putting a lot of competition now on the positions in the team. You mentioned that competition. Of course, you've got uh, Juric who scored the other night. You've seen he's been in good form up until then. What's that sort of battle looking like with the young Yankee coming through and then Juric with a bit more experience? Yeah, yeah it's, it's excellent. And um, you've got young Alisson as well. I thought um, his last two performances off the bench have been excellent as well. And he's looking like he's getting back to his old form, which is excellent. So um, as you said, you know, we've got three quality strikers that we can call on now and, um, you know, and strikers, you know, they play on, they go on purple patches. So, um, you know, at the moment, Tom, Tommy's on a purple patch and hopefully he can keep going tomorrow night. I just noticed when I was driving in that Cassini was on that pitch uh, next door, sort of training by himself. Was that due to any injury concern? Or Look, Cassini, uh, you know, he's had that little um, hamstring twinge and he's working back from that. And, you know, he, he's not available for tomorrow night, but he'll be available next week for Wellington. So we're just making sure his fitness level is good. Um, you know, if we needed to push, we, we could have pushed him tomorrow, but there's no need for that. So he'll be available next week. And, and uh, Dorigo comes back um, for you guys. What does what does he add to the side? Yeah, look, Louis has shown, you know, all season how consistent he is and how um, much pressure he puts on the ball and his quality and his positioning play when we have the ball. So, you know, Louis is, has had a great season, you know, and Joey Clady on the other night that if, when he came in for him was excellent as well. So, you know, that's a, a decision that I'll have to make to see which one of those two start. But, um, you know, that it's excellent to have that competition for, for positions. And uh, in terms of James Delianov, and we sort of had a few players that were one or two weeks away. Any of those guys going to be ready? Yeah, so yeah, James is back to full training now with the squad. Um, again, you know, he just needs to get his fitness back up to match level. Um, so at the moment, you, you know, it's difficult for a goalkeeper. You know, they need games to play. Um, so we we'll most probably look at, um, you know, if possible, um, give James some games in the local league to get him back up and running again. So what would that mean next weekend then? That's yeah James, yeah, James is back full training now, so um, he's up for selection, but um, as I said, he, he mostly need to play a couple of games in the local MPL before he can be ready to play in the A-League. So is he going to travel with the team even if he doesn't start? Uh, not at this stage, no. Um, outside of that, uh, pretty strong performance the other day, and what was a pretty uh, bizarre game. What did you make of that, McCarthy? Yeah, look, McCarthy are an excellent side, and, you know, I think... Um, over the course of the, se the year, they've you know had the most possession, most passes from almost any team. That's the type of football that they play, and we knew that. and And our pressure on them was it was excellent, um, and we didn't allow them to get their passing game going. And you know it's the same with Sydney. You know they're a very good passing team, and it's very important for us again. You know that the type of football that we play, we want to play a high pressing game, and it's going to be very important again tomorrow night that we get that right. Just how impressed have you been with Josh Cavallo as well? You know, filling in at left back another strong. Yeah, Josh has been outstanding since he's come here. He's, you know, a great kid and he's fitted in really well with the playing group and his performances have um, got better every week. You know, it's, that's what happens when, when you give young players an opportunity, they get their confidence and they, then they can really show you what they can do. And Josh has done that. He's been outstanding. We couldn't have asked for any more from, from Josh. He's been outstanding. 
mentioned about uh, getting managing to stop um, MacArthur's passing play. They really didn't play for the midfield at all. It seemed like you were playing a little bit more direct. Goodwin was getting sort of in behind every time. Is that something that you sort of want to keep trying to do? Just to yeah, watch? look, you, you know, we've got Craig Goodwin on one wing, Ben Halloran on the other wing, you know, two best wingers in the country. Um, and you know that's the way we want to play with that width and with that speed and quality in the wide areas and and as you said we've got Tommy Urich now playing as the striker you know it's a front three that we um, you know put a bit of fright into every team and you know it's important that we get the balls into those wide areas so they can do their jobs. Just uh, one last one uh, Stefan Walks had a few off-field issues this week have you spoken to him at all and what's he maintained? Look, you know, that's in, in Stefan's um, personal life, um, you know, it doesn't affect his football life. He's a very professional player, Steph, very focused, and it has no effect on him. Um, you know, he's, he's done a tremendous job for the team this year, leading it as captain, and, you know, we expect him to keep going the way he is because he's just been tremendous this season for the club.